What you are looking at is a fully electric air taxi prototype using cyclorotors as the main propulsion. The system is also known as cyclogyro or cyclocopter aircraft. In this century, old technology used successfully in ships is gaining traction as an EVTOL main propulsion system. It's small, precise, and has a smooth transition from hover to flight. In this video, I will explain the operating principle of the cyclorotor and I will go over the pros and cons of the propulsion system that could be powering your future daily commute. In February 1923, Jonathan Edward Caldwell filed for a patent on a device he called the Cyclogyro. It consisted of an airplane fuselage with two paddle wheel-like attachments in place of the wings. This was just one of several attempts to develop a vertical takeoff and landing cyclocopter aircraft. Converging technologies and advances in lightweight materials, electric propulsion systems, and batteries have advanced to the point that they have the potential to revolutionize air travel in recent years. The creation of new cyclorotor systems that benefit from these technological advancements is allowing the development of new cyclocopter aircraft around the world. This technology combines the main benefits of rotorcraft and fixed-wing concepts. The cyclorotor has several wings rotating around a central rotation axis at a constant speed. These wings are connected to a freely rotating hub with conrods. During one revolution, the eccentric position of the hub generates a periodic shift in the pitch angle of attack of a wing, resulting in accelerated airflow and thrust. In hover, the blades are actuated to a positive pitch on the upper half of their revolution and a negative pitch over the lower half causing a net upward aerodynamic force and fluid downwash in the opposite direction. The Austria-based company Cyclodic developed and tested many different rotor prototypes. The current prototype is a carbon cylinder 420 mm long and 350 mm in diameter with five blades, also made of carbon which allows the development of a maximum thrust of 25 kg at 3,100 revolutions per minute. The company offers several uses for this technology including the concept of a four-seater air taxi with four propellers on a 1.2 by 1.2 meter unit. It will offer an estimated range of 85 kilometers with a flight time of 40 minutes and a cruising speed of 150 kilometers per hour. The cyclocopter design has several advantages and disadvantages which are advantages, exceptional maneuverability, the ability to instantly change the magnitude and direction of traction on each rotor without having to change the engine speed, compactness by the reduction of aircraft footprint, agility, they can react to crosswinds and gusts in a much faster and effective way, especially during the critical takeoff and landing phase. Cyclorotors can immediately counteract interfering forces. Forward flight efficiency. The efficiency of a cyclorotor is proven to improve during the forward flight. Disadvantages. Rotor weight and complexity. One of the biggest disadvantages of a cyclocopter is that the rotor weight forms a significant fraction of the empty weight of the vehicle. The weight of the rotor is directly related to the blade weight because it governs the radial force which is the predominant structural load on the cyclo rotor. Designing lightweight blades for the cycle rotor is challenging because the outward force acts in the transverse direction. Large blade deformations and even blade structural collapse have been observed. Previous studies have shown that large bending and torsional deformations degrade the thrust producing capability and efficiency of the cycle rotor. Russia's foundation for advanced research is developing the cyclocar, a hybrid VTOL that will carry six people or up to 600 kilograms of cargo. It can travel 500 kilometers with a top speed of 250 kilometers per hour. The Russians are planning to use it with a hybrid propulsion system with fully electric drive and a range extending combustion generator of full-size long-range six-seat cycle car is expected to fly in 2022. So that's it for today. If you like this video then please hit the like and subscribe button for more videos thanks for watching.